What's up guys, just wanted to make a quick video today on what I consider the best Connect4 strategy, which surprisingly isn't well documented anywhere else on YouTube. This strategy is called the Odd Even strategy. So to begin, we think of the first person to drop their piece in a game as the odd player. And they're the odd player because they drop their piece first, third, fifth, seventh, ninth, etc all odd numbers. Likewise, the red tile here is the even player because they're dropping at 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. In addition, we think of the board as having odd and even rows. So we start counting rows from the bottom and we go up. So this is the first row, this is the second row, third row, fourth, fifth, and then finally the sixth row. And so the basic premise behind this strategy is that as the game progresses, player one is trying to secure a set of three in a row so that the fourth and final piece to connect that three in a row to make it four in a row falls on one of these odd rows, these upper odd rows, so either three or five. The reason for this being is that as the game progresses even farther, and there's just one column remaining, we know that no matter what this board looks like, that it will always, the next sequences of moves will always be an odd move, even mood, odd move. That means that the odd player will always win in this case. And the reason we know that it's always going to be odd, even odd move is because if there's one column left, that means six columns have been completely filled with six pieces in each column because there's six rows. So that is six times six, which equals 36 total moves that have been made. That means that this next spot open is always going to be the 37th move. And that is a odd move. So the odd player will always take this move then it'll be even player, then it'll be odd. And the odd player will always win this scenario. That's why an odd player should plan ahead and try to give themselves a win at the end of the game on one of these odd squares. In addition, this strategy also works as the even player. So imagine I'm the yellow tile again, but this time I went second. If this was the case, then I'd be trying to secure a win on either the second row, the fourth row, or the sixth row. And just a quick note, the lower down you can secure the win, the better. And you'll see why in just a second. So if this was the state of the game, I'd be feeling pretty good as a yellow player because I can drop my piece here and I'm one away from the four in a row in that even column that we were trying to aim for. So I'm feeling pretty good right now about this game. Let's keep going through it. Just a quick note as I speed through this game, because I've secured a position that is one away from having four connecting pieces on the second row, I'm just trying to use my remaining moves to just block the opponent from having any opportunities so that I can eventually get to that column where I'll win automatically. As you can see, we're nearing the end of this game, and the opponent has locked up one away from a four in a row on a odd square. But the reason we wanted that lower position was because now as the game completely fills up, he will be forced to make a move that allows us to win before we made a move like that would make him win because there's no way that he could get this position without us first winning. So as you can see, the game finishes up like that and we win. All right, I just wanted to mention a couple things before I finish this video. First, while this strategy can be super effective, it can be a little bit tough to get the hang of at first. So kind of keep practicing at it. And if you have any questions on how to kind of implement it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, I just wanted to kind of show you guys a complex situation where you might run into. So in this board that I brought out here, player two was the first player to move. And as you can see, he has a 
odd row win. So, you know, you think you kind of think he should be the one that should be able to win this game. But because I have two odd row wins, so I'm yellow again. I have an odd row win here and an odd row win here. He can't fill up this full column on the left so that, like, he would win here. He ends up having to drop a piece that allows me to win before he can get to the position that would cause him to win. That's very kind of kind of a complex situation, but kind of there are, you know, there are exceptions to the rule. I think that's what I want to get at. All right, that's all I got for this video. If you learned something and enjoyed this video, it'd mean a lot to me if you show some support and like this video and then also subscribe to my channel for future videos like this, as well as all sorts of other science, technology, engineering, math videos. Peace.